जय हिंद एवरी वन आई एम प्रभात कुमार एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पी वाई क्यू अकेडमी सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डू एनालिसिस ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ ई ओ ए विच वॉज कंडक्टर कंडक्टेड लास्ट ईयर एज यू नो टिल नाउ आई हैव बिन प्रोवाइडिंग यू द एनालिसिस ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ different exams like uh, cds capf and da so in this video i will be providing the analysis of epfo eua examination which was conducted in the year 2021 so let's start the video so first of all uh, the syllabus which have been mentioned explicit explicitly in the notification uh, you had taken uh, the exact wordings from the notification only so you can see here uh, in english they haven't provided you the exact uh, topics but in general they have said that uh, the english which they are going to ask is a common english uh, which uh, a general person uses then in history they are very specific they told that they are going to ask most probably the questions from indian freedom struggle that means they are focusing on modern uh history okay now current events and development this is the part of current affairs then indian polity and economy so then general accounting principles and then industrial relations and labor laws then science and uh, knowledge of computer application then general mental ability that means uh, math and reasoning portion and then social security in india that means schemes which are there so let me tell you that uh, the, the last year paper upsc followed uh, the exact pattern which it gave in the notification it didn't gi- gave any question out of the syllabus so after going through analysis i found this that for each uh, topic given in the syllabus it has asked this much number of question for example for english language there were 20 questions uh, from indian freedom struggle there were 15 i think these two questions were somewhere uh, uh, not a part of i think modern history but these were part of modern history only uh we will look uh, when we will go into the deep uh, analysis of the questions then current events and development that is current affairs 15 questions were there and those were very simple questions and then indian polity and economy there were around 5 questions uh which generally doesn't happens in other exams of upsc polity and economy uh covers a very large portion and uh, people may think that it is exam of epfo then they may ask more questions of economy but they didn't then the general accounting principles they have asked 10 question and these questions were very easy questions then eight questions were from industrial relations and labor laws and from this section so as they had divided it in two sections general science and knowledge of computer so from general science they have asked 15 questions and from computer section they have asked 10 questions now coming to general mental ability and quant aptitude that means the maths and reasoning portion so it there were 15 questions and social security so overall there were 3 to 5 questions and other some questions were there which we can count at as a miscellaneous one so now uh, let me tell you the syllabus also uh, or or the from where you can prepare so till now i, I have found uh, some of the important sources for not all but for few of them for example uh, english is a very common english which you can we, if you had earlier prepared for cds or if you have prepared for ssc also you can easily tackle these questions so uh, i can uh, suggest the volume 1 of kd campus that means uh, of neetu singh madam so you can take a reference that will be sufficient i think so then for indian freedom struggle uh one can be spectrum plus the themes third part of class 12 theme history third part they have asked direct questions from this book although some more questions which can be covered from the here also 
uh, I will tell while well, I will be discussing the particular history question I will be tell the proper uh, sources also then for current events and development follow any one uh, good source of current affairs and there you can uh, because the questions were very easy it's not like civil services when they twist the questions it was a very simple question then Indian polity and econ economy for Indian polity you know that Lakshmi Kant is sufficient and uh, economy since not many questions were asked but I think so uh, you can just follow any of the uh, important source which is there in the uh, market or you can also follow NCRT but no need to do if they are asking so much if they are asking very less questions then general accounting principles although I didn't prepared uh, didn't uh, went for any important source but the uh, the one uh, uh, the friends who have been selected and who are working right now so they told me that uh, there is a I think coaching or YouTube channel of success tree name okay success tree from there they prepared so I think uh, you can go and watch it once if it is good also I will also watch it since I am also preparing so later I will tell you that which are the important sources the industrial labor laws also same the general science so yes uh, in my earlier video as I told that for science uh, 9 and 10 NCRT is more than sufficient although you may get one or two question from higher NCRT also but more than 90 percent question you will get from 9 and 10 NCRT then for computer knowledge take uh, since the questions were the basic questions you can take any uh, uh, basic book for, uh, from where the questions are being asked, uh, from from where you can prepare a holistically so that you can you will be able to answer it then general uh, mental ability and quantity aptitude yes uh, students are worried that uh, from where we should so you can follow uh, uh, any basic book like uh, quantity aptitude of rs agarwal but uh, you have to think that uh, not all the topics are being asked in this uh, especially they are focusing on number system okay then other topics of arithmetic for example average uh, average then time and speed and uh, time and speed and uh, some important concepts are there. mostly they are focusing on arithmetic they are not going away from that okay that means they are not asking advanced questions like geometry trigonometry as they are in the SSA CGL now social security so these are nothing but the schemes for example schemes related to old age scheme uh, related to pension these are only social security topics then miscellaneous so any general knowledge questions which are not part of the above one uh, I took them in the miscellaneous so I think uh, uh, I will be discussing the questions in the coming videos so uh, for this I think uh, I will be concluding this and in the coming videos I will be providing a detailed solution uh, in the coming part first I will deal with the science question uh, then mathematics and then later so yes my material is prepared and I'm going to solve these questions in the coming video so stay connected thank you so much for watching PYQ Academy